Ali and we will introduce ourselves first. Uh, my name is Muhammad Badi Amin bin Muhammad Zaki. My MIT number is 187841. So the apparatus we'll be using in this experiment is boil, uh, the boiling heat transfer unit. The water will be coming in through this pipe and then going out from here. The, the main objective of carrying this experiment is to find the three modes of boiling. There are three modes of boiling, namely convecting boiling, nuclear boiling and fuel boiling. And fuel boiling. How do we actually carry this out? Is actually we will set the initial power at 5 volt and then at every 2 minutes in the mode we'll adjust the mode. We will increase the mode by 5 volts, so it will be 5, 10, 15, and etc. Let's discuss about curve OA represents the stage free convection boiling. When we light the burner, heat transfer takes place between the vessel and water due to free or natural convection. We can see that the values of heat flux and delta T excess start increasing. And when the temperature of water reaches its saturation temperature, that is when delta T excess attains a positive value. Then boiling takes place. This stage of boiling is known as free convection boiling. And when uh, nuclear boiling is where there is some of the bubbles occur in the observation and the last one, fun boiling, is where there is previous uh, boiling process which we can observe a uh, very observant bubbles in the solution. And so now after 2 minutes, we now turn the words to 10. Oh, sorry, he's too fast. Ah. Because this is not stable, so it will keep changing. Okay, okay now uh, the word is already at 20, and, and this liquid already at the state of nucleate boiling. Nucleate boiling. As we can see, nucleate boiling is divided into two parts. Curve AB represents liquid entrainment and curve BC represents critical heat flux. Now first, let us understand liquid entrainment. Due to continuous heating, we see that the value of delta T excess increases and the bubbles are formed at the bottom surface of the vessel. These bubbles move upwards and carry some water along with them. But they collapse after covering some distance in the water. This is known as liquid entrainment. We see that the disturbance caused by liquid entrainment in the water increases the heat transfer coefficient. So the heat flux also increases. In curve BC, we see that as delta T excess further increases, the bubbles start forming at a faster rate. These vapor bubbles move upwards and merge to form numerous continuous columns of vapor in the liquid. 
the bubbles in the column then move upwards to the free surface where they break up and release their vapor content. Due to this, the heat flux attains its maximum value known as critical heat flux. The delta T excess further increases, due to which the vessel surface is completely covered by a continuous stable vapor film. Now because of high temperature, we see that the radiation heat transfer takes place between the heated surface and the water through the vapor film. Thus this stage is known as film boiling. and the T2 which is liquid temperature and the 50 